week of the season, the Mavericks return to action in its WCHA style this weekend. It's Minnesota State and Ferris State coming up next here on the Maverick Hockey Weekend. Up his defender to play it off a body into the net. Possibly the best shift of the night for the Mavericks right here. Rivera sweeps it on for a score! I would say it definitely is now. Rivera just crashing that hard from the goal line. Backhands it in. Mavericks 1-0. And boy, that was 30 seconds of really good sustained pressure by the Mavericks. Dan McCarger, I will give you a call on That's that one. That's pretty close. I'll give you credit. Here's a nice yeah. play, and again, a good line, and Rivera just brings it out in front. No one knocks him off the puck on the play. You know, it's something you probably should do is pick a guy coming up towards the net with the puck, but Bear State doesn't do it there, and the Mavericks make him pay. BHA, they have killed off uh, about 81.1% of the opponent's opportunities. 43 of 53. Well, that that goal by Durant. Yeah, Dale Durant. Says, take that. That did not take long at all. Oh, tic tac toe. Blue line down the circle, right out in front. And I could barely get the numbers out on yep. the stats, and we're up to nothing. Gerads, apropos, takes yeah. the heavy hit and comes back and gets the goal. Yeah, I think the Mavericks will take it. You'd like the five minutes to keep on going here, but just look at this pass down to the circle, right out in front. He buries it. You know, you draw those up, Don. And that team coached by. Maverick hockey coach Mike Hastings, as a matter of fact. Score! Watch out. These guys are just dangerous. Mavericks with a big rush up the ice. Nothing but pure uh, hard work on that one. I think Mackey's going to get credit for the goal. As, again, they just took it straight down. Didn't even really set up in the zone. Just came uh, right down be, the slot. Might be Parker Toomey. Toomey, the first one to the to the net, or to the uh, bench. No, it's too, it's. That's interesting. Toomey was the first one of the bench. And usually the guy who scored it is the first one of the bench. So we'll see. Well, we know it's a goal. And it's we a know goal. It's on this ice. Out in front. Score! Mark McCaylis. How do you let a guy that yeah. wide open down there? And McCaylis does what he does best. Just one time that hammers it home. And and it's up point up. He's not just a guy either. This is the guy. McNeely two on one. Coda near side McNeely. We're out of room. Score! Oh, man. Jack McNeely with the finish, but the pass is what set it up. He threw the defender over for as long as he could. And McNeely with the finish. That is his first Maverick goal. It took a little more than a season, but yeah. now uh, about uh, 10 games or uh, nine games into his sophomore campaign. McNeely finishes off a two-on-one rush with Cody. This does not look like someone who's never scored a college goal before. Quick shot there off the draw by Frankie Melton. But that went wide and then a follow-up and that's on you, Dan <laughs> McCarger. That is on you. The Bulldogs score and it's now a 5-1 game but the Bulldogs have something to build upon here as they uh, win the draw and hold it in the zone. Missed on the first attempt by Melton but Hetz gets the follow-up. Time of the goal at 7-14. Well, remember, I set the over-under on the game at 7.5, so there's some work to do. 